What's up and welcome to another episode of It's Tip Top Fishing. My name is Keaton Ditchfield. This is Lone Hill Dam. And today we are trying something new. It is called a Nash bolt machine. Basically what this does is it extends your range for fishing on the top. For top water fishing for carp or barbel or anything that's going to eat a top water bait. So what this is, it's a 30 gram uh, bolt machine and it's tied to about, ow, hook me in the leg about a meter and 10 centimeters of six pound leader. You've got to make sure this, this leader floats, so don't go for a fluorocarbon or something like that. And I've got a size 10 hook. On the end of that hook, I'm going to put a piece of bread like this. And then I am going to hopefully catch a little carpi. This literally takes your line further than anyone else can cast. A piece of bread because that's the biggest problem you face when you're casting top water stuff it's usually light because it has to float so if you're casting a piece of bread you're not going to get it beyond 30 meters doesn't really matter what your setup is so with this you can cast a hell of a lot further so I'm going all the way to the reeds and dumping a lot of uh, bait there with a spam and hopefully one or two carp or barbel come up and take my little piece of bread. Come on fishies, it's the right time of day. Let's get it going. Oh yes, fish on. Oh, missed him, no. Did you see that? Oh. Did I pull too hard? Did I snap the hook link? Yes, I did. What a dumb twit. What a bolt machine also does is it acts like a lead at the top of the water. So when a carp does take your piece of bread, it's got some resistance in the water so that it actually sets your hook before you have to see it. Because a lot of the time when a carp takes your line on the top of the water, if a carp gets away with it because you either strike too early or late and the bolt machine is the resistance at the perfect time which hooks the fish. So in other words, when you're using a bolt machine, you don't need to strike like I did. I struck and broke my hook link like a tool. So with my second rod, I have got a spam attached to that. So what you do is you break a couple of pieces of bread into your spam. Not too many, I'd say about 10, 11 pieces and deliver the spam into the area you are casting. Now the spam itself gives you enough weight. It's pretty much the same amount of weight as a bolt machine when it's loaded with bread. I'm caught over here. And that allows you to bait further and cast further with your hook bait. Just watch out for the duck. That sounded good. There you go, fish on. That didn't take long. Okay, we're on to a fish. Very excited, I've got a very light hook link on here. So, let's hope I get it out. Me showing you the fish isn't going to look fantastic because I am going to not take it too far out the water. I don't have a net, so I'd rather look after the fish. Okay, so I'm standing in the water so you guys don't have to worry about carp here. If it falls, it's going to fall in the water. There you go. Lovely little carp, about two and a half kilos. Caught at distance, which made the difference. Very happy about that. Let's put it back. Yeah. Watch out for ducks. And they're getting quite close to my hook bait. See the bolt machine there? If they get any closer, I'm going to 
reel in my boat machine and cast out again, hopefully scare the buggers away. Why would you use a bolt machine over just using a piece of bread? What's, why do you have to get that distance? Now, for the certain venues that you can fish top water, because you can't just fish top water any venue because fish don't come to the surface, they don't eat on the surface. So certain venues like um, Lone Hill, like Fun Fishing in Alberton, um, you can fish top water. Now why would you want to cast further and catch fish that are further? It's basically because you're going to do something different. Now, when carp fishermen fish with bread, oh shit, ducks, give me two seconds. So now that the ducks are sorted, why would you want to use a, a, a Nash bolt machine? Basically, it lets you cast further. So the carp get used to bait arriving at a certain distance and hook baits being at a certain distance. And then they know that once the bait has drifted past a certain place, if they eat there, they're gonna be safe. So if everyone can only cast 20 meters with a piece of bread, they know that 20 meters from the bank, they could get caught. So it's a dangerous place to eat bread off the top. But if they wait for the wind to blow it or something like that, and they eat it at 40 meters from the bank, they've never got caught from that distance. So therefore, it's always safe to eat there. And what a bolt machine does, it makes it not safe to eat 40 meters away. So you can get to that zone where the carp are feeling safer. So I've only been fishing here for an hour now, and I've already caught a carp. The guys next to me have tried the whole day, they said, and they've only caught two barbel. So in certain places, this method can be seriously deadly. Now, if you want to buy a Nash bolt machine, go to cmfcarp.co.za and you can get a 10% discount on a, a Nash bolt machine or anything that you buy at cmfcarp.co.za. We've got a little guy coming in for the bread. <laughs> Bye, puppy. Jack, naughty Jack. <laughs> Jack's just being Jack, a Jack Russell. Hopefully you can catch one more fish before I go home of my massive long hour and a half session. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to support Tip Top Fishing, please remember to click that subscribe button or consider becoming a Tip Top Patron where uh, you can help support Tip Top Fishing, make bigger and better videos for you guys. Thanks for watching guys. Till next time, tight lines guys. Thank you.